Alright guys, what's up? DJ Kevin over here from DJ Kevin TV One. I'm gonna do another video on my Dell Dimension 8400. 8400. And I did some modifications in uh, Windows to make my gameplays for my gaming channel um, not so laggy. But I also fix it up so my boot will be a little bit faster. So what about we turn this baby on and let's see how fast it will boot up. And then show you all and then show you how much gigabytes and what type of RAM and processors it has in there. Here we go. All right, it's starting up. Yeah, that's normal. That's just the battery voltage. It's low, so. Like I said, I don't got Windows XP on there. From the last video, I got Windows 7. And I did some modifications on Windows 7, so it runs a little bit better for that PC. For my Delta Dimension 8400. And then right there, I'm already on the boot screen. I mean the login screen. So let me just... And as you already heard that sound, it's already booted up. Now, I don't have the, what is it called, arrow? I have the arrow snap, but I don't have arrow in, um, enabled because it makes my games all laggy when I'm doing gameplay videos. And that's not how I want this computer to run. As you guys can already tell, it's already done running. The... Hard drive light is still blinking, but it's still loading up everything. Got the back panel of it. The diagnostic lights are green, so that means it's good. And the two blinking LEDs are the Wi-Fi. The tray works pretty good. They both work very, very well. I don't have a, I don't have a um, floppy, a floppy disk. But if I did, I would demonstrate that for you as well. The button works. The floppy drive system works. I want to add a new driver in here, so I'll do that later on in the future. And I installed Windows 7. Look at all the games that I have over here. Look at all the programs. It's pretty much all like filled up. But if you guys don't believe me that this thing's Windows 7, um, watch this. Nope, that's not it. There you go, Windows 7. Sorry about that, that's just the CRT. But it has 4 gigabytes of memory. This thing is a 32-bit computer. Let me get my color back. This is a 32-bit computer. It has 4 gigabytes of memory. Uh, 3 gigabytes usage. And it has an Intel Pentium 4 CPU. 3.20 gigahertz and 3.9 gigahertz. I guess that's around like... Sorry about that. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, uh, if you guys have uh, seizures once in a while, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. And my rating is around 
4.1. So let's uh, look at my ratings for a quick sec here. All right, my processor rating is 4.1. I think that's a pretty good amount. Um, memory is 5.3. Uh, graphics desktop performance for Windows Aero is 4.9. Uh, 3D business and gaming graphics performance is 4.6, and the primary um, hard drive uh, disk data transfer rate is 5.3. So it's not really a bad PC. It's not really bad. I mean. I mean, I could get more features with the new edition of Windows by upgrading it anytime that I want. People who have seizures, uh, beware. I could uh, Windows anytime upgrade. I could upgrade anytime that I want for if I want to upgrade this computer to Windows 7 Ultimate or 7 Home, uh, 7 Home Premium, which it is this right now yep home premium and plus I can upgrade this to ultimate home premium enterprise home I mean basic which who wants to fucking do that and it still has the arrow snap but the arrows are not enabled because I modify this computer a little bit so my gameplay videos won't be that laggy um, but hey, it's 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 a really nice desktop. I really really like it. I mean, I love this desktop. You guys already know that. Um, do I watch videos on it? Mm, kind of, not really that much though, because I mostly use it for gaming. But you know, it still has a DVD tray. That one is a ROM. This one is the rewritable. They say never push it in like that, but people still do it anyways. Um, but I love this casing, to be honest. I love this casing. It has loose parts because it's old and it's been warping out, but still a great PC. I really, really like it. Um, you guys already saw the... The... Um, if you guys already saw through my past videos on my YouTube channel, I did the React OS, Zorin OS, um, into that PC and it ran pretty well, but I'm sticking with Windows 7 because I want to record my gameplay. And what videos I used for recording my gameplay on my screen, my screen capture, or as like they say, gaming recording software, is Fraps. And then that thing costs around like 39 40 bucks not really bad I mean it's not cheap but I have it over here fraps uh, that program is not cheap but if you guys could afford it if you guys are doing gameplay videos like me on YouTube and doing that for a living that is the best software it's either that or DX story but I recommend fraps lot more to record gameplay videos off any computer but yeah that's that's basically about it I mean I just want to do a video on my Dell Dimension 8400 and uh, there'll be more videos up in the future um, about this uh, desktop um, as you guys can already tell this thing have never did anything wrong for me it the keyboard sometimes the the uh, the space bar sometimes craps out when I'm playing games, um, but it's it's a great it's it's a great desktop. I really really like it. I mean it performs a lot better. Last time, listen to this one. Last time, when I did not change any of the any of the performance preferences on this PC. The hard, the hard drive keeps running, the hard drives keep thinking, and it's like, oh my god, when is this ever going to end? Because all the time it always lags my videos. But I finally went into the program, I actually went on Windows, Windows 7, I actually tweak with the programs and stuff like that. 
and it's running 10, 20, 40 times better than it did before. So, yeah, it's it's great. I mean, if anybody wants a Dell computer, then the Dell Dimension computers are very, 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 very great. Now, let's see how long it is to shut this baby down. Because I'm not going to be recording anything from my gameplay, from my game, my gaming channel today. Task host window has to close that. One of my favorite desktops in the whole entire house. My mom, my mom and dad has an HP. Yeah, not my favorite computers. You guys already know that that's not my favorite computer. But it's shutting down. It should shut down any moment now because of all the configuration that I configured on this computer. It should shut down momentarily. Bam. Just like that, that fast from Windows 7 on an old Dell Dimension 8400. Now, a lot of people are always asking me, are you wary to keep your Dell Dimension 8400 on the floor like this? You know, with all this uh, dust, and, dust and debris. Check that out, huh? Are you a little bit wary by keeping your desktop on the floor? Yeah. I mean, every single time that I put my desktop on the floor, I have to... Open it up, clean it up, you know, clean out the drives and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm going to be putting this, putting this computer very, very soon on this end of the, uh, of the table. On my rack, to be honest. I just got to move this up, put my Dell Dimension over there, and then I should be good. That one over there, I'm still working on it. As you guys can already know by the other video, I'm still working on it. I gotta open it up. I gotta put some new in, uh, processes in there. But um, that's gonna be... If I can't fix this computer, then I'm gonna take out the, um, the CD drives and possibly the chip, the uh, Intel Pentium 4 chip and possibly the hard drive if I really need it. But... And then I'm going to scrap the whole motherboard and start from scratch and keep the casing. I love the casing on these Dell Dimensions. These Dell Dimensions are awesome looking. They're great. They never did anything wrong for me. Great looking computer. But that video is not from that from that computer. My, that, this video is all about my Dell Dimension 8400. So big shout out to DJ Aaron from Arizona. He got the Dell Dimension B110, which it is the little brother of the Dell Dimension 8400 and the Dell Dimension 4600. Same design as the 4600, but less less features and less processing inside that computer. But, yeah. But the Dell Dimension 8400 is one, is one of the most best-selling products in 2004. If you guys don't believe me, look it up. Alright guys, so that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just wanted to make another video on my desktop. You know, I'm in deadly in love with this desktop and it never did anything wrong for me yet. I mean, from 2004 to now, almost about, what is it, 8 years? I think something like that, I don't know. But somewhere around that, it never did anything wrong for me. You know, with the Wi-Fi system hooked up to it, it never did anything wrong. And the casing, I love the casing. If if the motherboard and this thing died, I will still keep the casing and buy a new motherboard and pop it in and rebuild it. So, yeah, I'm still going to keep the casing no matter what because I love the casing. But other than that, that's my Dell Dimension 8400. I hope you guys enjoyed. Big shout out to DJ Aaron, uh, UXW Bill. Um, and if you guys want to see the little brother of the Dell Dimension 8400, check out UXW Bill's video on the Dell Dimension 8300. Um, a little bit less processing, but still the same PC. This one is a little bit more high tech. This one is mostly like for gaming back in the day, which, uh, hell, that's why I had those crazy ass ratings. But that's basically about it. So big shout out to everybody who su supports, <coughs> excuse me, supports my channel and stuff like that. 
and it supports my uh, computer videos. There'll be more computer videos later on in the future, but that, that's about it. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Practice and enjoy.